I don't know if it's. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. wait. I think it's recording. I don't know. What? It's mom. We can't. We have no more memory. It's okay. I can just It's okay. Well, no. I don't know how. Oh, wait. Got it. I give my time. Hey, let him turn it. Turn it towards Liz so she can take a picture of it before you read it. Oh, yeah. I'm recording. Oh, you are? Can <laughs> okay. so someone else take a picture? Here, I'll take a picture. Yeah. Yeah, they do this. Okay, it's out of my So I just read it, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Turn it out and let her take a picture of it. Hold on, I'm recording. Is it this one? Yeah. Oh, it is this one. <laughs> I didn't see it yet. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. From the beginning. Okay. It says, Dear Elder Orozco, you are hereby called to serve as a missionary of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. You are assigned to labor in the Texas San Antonio Mission. Oh yep. Okay, keep going. Keep reading it. It says that it is anticipated that you will serve for a period of 24 months. You will report to the Provo Missionary Training Center on Wednesday, January 23rd. Oh, wow. 2013. Uh, you will prepare to preach the gospel in the English language. Your, assign your assignment may be modified according to the needs of the mission president. Uh, you have been recommended as one worthy to rep represent the Lord as a minister of the restored gospel. You will be an official representative of the church. As such, you will be expected to maintain the highest standards of conduct and appearance by keeping the commandments, living the missionary mission rules, following the co counsel of your mission president, as you devote your time and attention to serving the Lord, leaving behind all other personal affairs, the Lord will bless you with increased knowledge and testimony of the restoration of the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Your purpose will be to invite others to come unto Christ by helping them receive the restored gospel through faith in Jesus Christ and His atonement, repentance, baptism, receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, and enduring to the end. As you serve with all your heart, might, and strength, the Lord will lead you to those who will are prepared to be baptized. The Lord will reward you for the goodness of your life. Greater blessings and more happiness than you will than you have yet experienced await you as you humbly, prayfully serve the late the Lord in the labor of love among His children. We place our confidence in you and pray that the Lord will help you become an effective missionary, and you will be set apart as a missionary by your stake president. <laughs>